Hey guys, JH, welcome to practice team. Okay, just continuing on with adaptation of some of the the wonderful mechanical processes of the Count Yogi swing just continuing on with that into adapting it to uh, to channel lock as I said before guys you don't have to do that but I think really that if you can it's a wonderful wonderful benefit I wouldn't be entertaining it if it wasn't I, I don't apply things to my swing that I don't think can be beneficial but but there is stuff in the yogi swing that I've always seen that have borne out the the reputation that he had as as such an incredible ball striker so that makes me want to to utilize some of those processes and the one that I've been working on guys which which are only we've only done in the last couple of days is the uh, is the shoulder sling and the shoulder sling is basically this guys we're just slinging that shoulder over there and whatever consequences that slinging creates then you just let it uh, manifest itself and create itself the whole point of that shoulder sling and the and the and the good part about it and the benefit of it is that by by doing the shoulder sling it totally isolates the hands as a mechanism to start the golf swing because the problem we've got most of the time guys is that we will not have the same capability or process of starting the swing with the hands because they are a very independent uh, units I mean they basically do different things uh, just about every time but the good thing about having the shoulder sling is that it does the same thing every time I mean that is an easy thing to do and see what happens there guys look watch that now the way to get the feeling of this and I should have gone into this yesterday when I had Mr X there but what was interesting with the Mr X exercise yesterday was he picked it up immediately instantaneously he picked it up so it's not something that's difficult to do maybe difficult to understand and I don't think I did a super explanation job to to Mr X but he picked it up immediately and we hit shots after we'd finished that particular video for 30 minutes afterwards and he just he never missed a shot and neither did I frankly we just had and and that was basically you know our, our first our first exposure to it so from that point of view I think it's unbelievable that something that would seem as way out in terms of conventional golf swing mechanics can be so easily adapted now to make it easily ad or more easily adapted or just easily adapted per se to get the feeling of what we want just do this just take that lead arm which is the noodle arm just put it there and completely immobilize it make it dormant and then just do this just do that now if you can move that golf club against the dormant hand by just doing that then you're achieving what we're trying to achieve in the golf swing which is that massive negative loading of the golf club in the backswing because if this is completely dormant this wrist, wrist hinge here and that lead arm is like a macaroni and you apply just the shoulder sling the only force that's going to get the, this mobile if we're not deliberately thinking of getting a mobile with the hands is the shoulder sling is the shoulder actually slinging now that's what I want to achieve I want to get that now Mr. Rex can that because he's quite flexible in his shoulders and his wrist he's very flexible so he can get that but me being an old dude I don't have that type of flexibility but that's a way of getting it the other way in terms of an analogy or a way of explaining it if you had 
if you had both hands on the club and we have the dormant lead arm or the noodle arm and you had a brick just behind our club head there and and as that 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 lead shoulder starts its sling it exerts pressure we'll substitute the brick for our our uh, our ball basket here and if we had that brick there and we exerted pressure against the brick here and then as that pressure is being exerted that brick was was you know uh, miraculously just uh, released like that it just took away but we had that initial pressure loading that's the feeling we want that's precisely the feeling we want we want to feel that the that there's a brick behind the golf club and we're going to exert pressure on the brick by the lead, by the shoulder lead shoulder sling into that into that wrist hinge there like that ah, that's what we're trying to do now that may seem very complex and way left field or even right field in terms of a conventional golf swing and it is but it's only because we've never been exposed to it it can be done because we saw it with Count Yogi and he did it very very effectively and I did it effectively yesterday and Mr X did it effectively yesterday and I think today uh, just I can just come up and hit the ball instantaneously well and, and of course the weather's beautiful today absolutely beautiful no wind I mean look just slight zephyr maybe five ten k's which is nothing here but this is where we want to be now the emphasis is guys once or should be once we get that lead shoulder slinging it just continues to sling and it keep, continues to back pressure that dormant lead arm and those wrists and and the dormant trail arm it just keeps doing that if you can incorporate in it and this is a little bit of a uh, a sophistication of, of of that move if you can incorporate with that shoulder sling against the dormant arm actually a trail arm uh, or a trail shoulder um, sling as well at the same time so we've got a, a lead shoulder sling and a trail shoulder sling at the same time so both shoulders are slinging so it's basically they're doing that they're doing that. See, see how these are noodles? Look, that's what I want to feel. But I want to feel that in a very, very smooth um, motion. Over here in the crabgrass. <coughs> Unless you're Australian, you won't know uh, what crabgrass is, but it's, uh, it's well named as crab because it's got nippers. Just grabs the golf club. And as you can see, I'm a couple of inches underground here. So here we go guys, first first shot of the day. Shoulder sling. You know what that is guys? That's just a continuation of where Mr. X and I left off yesterday with our 30 minutes of, uh, of hitting golf balls. That's exactly the same quality of shot that we were hitting yesterday. And I, and I probably, in terms of the, the application of what I'm trying to do here, I'm probably 15% you know, or 20% only into the application. I want, to get, I want to get how Mr. X looks. Mr. X actually looks like this. He's actually got that whole body turning because of the shoulder sling it's, it's motivating his hips and everything before the hands move now i haven't got that but guys that that ball flight was just unbelievable unbelievable there's a big pile of trees up here they're going to burn that they've cut down and i aimed this five iron at those and i thought yeah i should land just in front of those uh, but it flew it it just flew straight over the pile 
it just took off. And that's a dead cold golf swing, guys. No warm up, nothing. Now you're going to have some some miss hits and some uh, faux pas when you're trying, starting. I haven't yet, but I'm really good at 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 thinking up a result. I'm really good at that. I have always been good at that. And I told you, I went for two days where I just thought about the process. I just put in you know, the winds come up now. We come up probably 30 k's, maybe 35. So it's um. Yeah, just don't blow that camera over. Yeah, it's really strong now, probably 40 k's. It knows I'm here and it catches up with me. Okay. So, yeah, I want to get that, that, that look and feeling that, that Mr. X has got. And that is just incredibly dormant arm. He gets here and then he just turns the body against and all this stays there. I haven't got that, but I want to get that. And I saw a lot of that in Yogi. And I'm getting amazing feedback from from someone who actually spent time around Yogi, had lessons from him and hit lots of balls around him and spoke to Yogi a lot and that's a guy called William Milne from uh, San Clemente in uh, California. William, William's a great source of uh, information for me. And, and he's saying that you know Yogi had specifics and he, and he, got, he got William to, uh, to, to, to activate his golf swing. But Yogi said that he pulled his trail shoulder and his trail hand back at seven o'clock and, and went back in here. He actually pulled this back in his trail shoulder. Now I can see that in his golf swing, but I can also see that lead shoulder sling. Now maybe he was doing that and not realizing it. And William made that point. He said, you know, with all great players as we know, there are a lot of things that they, they thought they were doing they weren't doing, and there were a lot of things they didn't know they were doing that they were doing. Uh, so we know that. So maybe he had both of those aspects. He had the sling going on the lead shoulder, but he had the had to pull away. He had to push sling here with the lead shoulder and he had to pull away sling with the trail shoulder. Now you can incorporate it whatever way you like, guys. The, the main, the, the only objective is to achieve this. We need to achieve that lag. Well, there are guys, there's two shots in a row, dead stone, solitary cold. And they're just bullets, absolute bullets. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not into this yet. I mean, I'm just such an early day. But what, what gives me, uh, great confidence here, uh, is, is that because I'm so early into this and I can hit it perfectly. I mean, I, I would never probably want to hit the ball any better than that. If I could hit every shot the rest of my life like that, I'd be a happy chappy. Because that's as good as I've ever hit the ball. It's just extraordinarily good. And it feels like I'm not doing anywhere near what I'm trying to do. But I must be doing something because the results are extraordinary. So there's something going on of significance. And I've got the Yogi Grip. Somebody asked if uh, Mr. X uses the Yogi Grip. He doesn't. But he doesn't have to because he's very flexible in the wrist. If he went to the side positioning of that uh, trail thumb, he would probably have, be too flippy in his wrist. He, he wrists. He does not need to do that. Come on, Jage. Okay. We've just got the trifecta. Three in a row. And uh, you know what's interesting? Even as as non-correct as I feel in this action, I know it's correct enough to give me that result. Okay, see if I can really do a good job on this really make those hands just totally dormant. Big, big shoulder sling. There's four balls that are just all in the same place. And it's brutal out of this grape grass. I mean, it's just... Because 
because Channel Lock gets the club at grass level early, it tends to pick up the grass early and it just slows the club down. But that, if that's one fault that the Channel Lock's got, then you have to live with that. Because I wouldn't change any of that because it's so shallow so early that if the grass is any type of long, and if I, a couple of times I've demonstrated for guys that have been here out of semi rough, and you can see the club gets on, starts making a furrow through the ball at grass height like a foot away from the golf ball. So it gets that ball level very, very quickly. Come on, Judge, do a good job. Do a good job. Just great shots, but I'm just, because I'm so anxious to, to do this, I'm just not giving the swing the chance it needs to complete itself. And for some reason or other, I've got very, very soft in that grip and, and my hand is just opening a little bit on the backswing. So I've got, I've got to guard against that a little bit. I've got so dormant that nothing's happening in that lead arm and hand. There it is, guys. Wow! Holy dooly, J.H. It's a different flight, guys. I've never seen flight like that. And I never saw Yogi's ball flight, but, but William Milne said it was like no other. And Sam Snead told me it was like no other. As did Byron Nelson and Mo Norman. And the great Australian player, Norman Von Nyder, he said you had to see it to believe it. That was just off the scale, guys. Okay. Getting better. Six shots. Wow. Wow. It's just fantastic. <clears throat> and uh, someone... Uh, made a comment or a post on, on my channel yesterday about the propensity of being able to hit hooks with this. You'll never hit hooks, real hooks, with channel lock, guys. You can't. Uh, the attack is too much into out and it's too far back the ball and the, the, the back ball position positions the shoulders so that you can't get that sort of separated and that active with the hands to create a big hook. You can't do that. I've not hit one. Not even look like it. Neither has Mr. X and he's prone to hitting hooks because he released the club, but he hasn't done it in, um, in channel lock. And I don't think you ever will in channel lock. I certainly don't. I certainly haven't. Come on, James. Really, a lot of, sh lot of shoulder sling. Now they're all the same shots. I'm just anxious because I'm so, well I'm so anxious about the golf swing, I've just got to let it get back and settle itself in the backswing without jumping all over it, which I am doing. I don't have to jump over it, you just don't have to jump over it. Come on Jage. I mean they're perfect golf shots, but I can feel that I'm really anxious to hit the ball. That's the one. Wow! Guys, that is just so good. I mean, you can't believe... Oh. And, and probably that's why Yogi was as long as he was. Because, I mean, you just get, you get that automatic loading. And, and the point I made this morning to someone in a reply to one of the posts is that, guys, I have no sensation of anything happening or trying to do anything in the backswing. Once that is gone, it's gone up here and it just activates itself and everything just happens. I, I, there's nothing going on consciously as a deliberate process. None. All right, let's try and do one good one. They, they were all great, but, but I, I feel anxious. There's a good one. Wow. Just dead straight ball flight, guys. No, my standard... That's just flying the pile of wood. My, my standard shot is, you know, about a two, three yard draw, but they're just dead straight because there's the up aspect of Yogi. 
which takes away a little bit of the release. Okay guys, that's just some, some updates and uh, some information on, uh, on Channel Lock with Yogi if you want to pursue that. I'm going to pursue it because it gives such great benefits to me. Unbelievable benefits. Okay guys, I'll come back in a moment because it's got so hot I've got to take my shirt off. I mean, it just, I can't believe how hot it's got. It's probably 26 degrees. It's been like 18 degrees and 17 degrees, but it's just, it's just got, in the last five minutes, it's got so hot. Changeable weather. I'll be back. <laughs> 